You hear about the document they're going to sign? No. What is it? Supposedly signing a peace agreement. Good. Hopefully this war will end soon then. As the soldiers in the trenches were talking about rumours of signing a document, the representatives of all three sides were making their way to Fox Private Train. Annabelle is walking her dog through the woods until she notices a train carriage with the numbers 2419. She is then approached by a cavalryman who, in an angry and stern voice, says, Get out! This is a restricted area. Walk your dog elsewhere. Inside the train, the representatives from the three sides are having a heated discussion about the final terms of the agreement. The Germans are not happy at all. The French are not pleased too, and neither are the British. But hesitantly, they all sign the contract, signalling that the fighting shall stop on the 11th of November at 11 a.m. As the agreement is signed, a message is distributed to all the messengers to be delivered to the radio stations to say that the war is over. Although the agreement has been signed, peace didn't prevail all the way until the 10th of January 1920. The once loud trenches with screaming and shells exploding, a no man's land littered with barbed wire, shrapnel and dead bodies, is now overpowered by the singing of birds and some form of normality. The war that was supposed to last until the first Christmas had now lasted for four years. And after millions of lives lost, the great war was over.